Um, this is the remains of the performance Inside Out. And in this exhibition, you can see the, in the different photographs, you can see the different stages of the show. And uh, the theme of the show is, I mean, the title describes it very well. It's the inside coming out. But the main um, inspiration for the piece was how we all, many of us, in order to feel like we can fit into society, we censor what we express. And actually, sometimes the censorship goes that far that we don't even feel things anymore or we don't even they don't even become thoughts anymore. So it starts out with like very spontaneous feelings and thoughts and, and ideas, which as children, we, um, they just come out. <laughs> and as a child, it's kind of excusable, but um, as you become older, it is expected from you, or at least we think it is expected from us, that we, um, we use some censorship to be more appropriate. <laughs> Um, so I um, created this piece over the time span of two and a half years I was working on this. I actually messed up my hands, <laughs> um, sewing everything very tediously. And you can't really see it very well. There's a gray suit under here. On the photographs you can see there is, um, it starts out, the performance starts out with um, kind of a fat monster and it has nothing to do with eating disorder. <laughs> it, oh, I guess eating disorder has to do with psychological <laughs> problems, but what it has to do with, I was imagining if all our dreams, wishes and desires, which we um, censor or we keep inside because we're afraid of not being accepted in society or we are afraid of offending or hurting people, we keep them all inside. So I was imagining if all these feelings were objects that our body creates, these spontaneous objects. And if I would just keep it all inside to not hurt anyone, I would become bigger and bigger. <laughs> so in this uh, performance at the beginning, I am very big and I'm very gray because I don't express myself. I'm not being colorful and I'm not being lively. And also I'm becoming kind of like a baby, like, you know, um, I don't have a personality, like, like a really little baby, because I'm not expressing myself. And I try to get up and I can't, and then I um, just explode. And first there's a lot of fat coming out, like, you know, just junk. And, then there's also some treasures. So the thing is, if we're so afraid of our inner self, it all feels like garbage and burdens, and it all feels like inconvenient inconveniences. But as soon as we let things out, there's definitely going to be some unpleasant things <laughs> coming out. But there's also going to be some colorful, really, really fun things um, that are going to be um, very surprising and very treasures and very beautiful and very fun and very um, amazing. So in the performance, there's all this stuff coming out and some things I'm very uncomfortable about and some other things I am very excited about. So I can just, for example, show one sculpture. Is this the right spot? This one is called Rich and Lonely. And it has actually a ball bearing, so it can, I mean, it's attached. <laughs> it has a ball bearing, it um, goes all around. So it's like obsessed about its money, you know, always looking if somebody is stealing. <laughs> and it's even crying gold. I mean, this used to be gold, but from the performance, it's a little bit suffering. It has just one eye. And um, I'm also singing in this performance and they're just like little poems that I wrote. They're kind of inspired by, the, the form of it is inspired by Japanese tanka. There's haiku and tanka, two different forms. And they're just like ideas, like shreds.